Hello community. Now I got a lot of notification today. Instruction diffusion by Microsoft Research. So here we have the archive preprint September 7th, 2023. And as you can see here, this is a very good depiction what this new instruction diffusion model by Microsoft can do. You have an input image. You can transform this image to a Van Gogh style picture, or you can in paint here some crown on the head of the elephant, or you paint the pixels of the cheetah here in blue, or you mark the pixels of the cat in the mirror, or you indicate specific parts or positions in a picture, or you do simply some detection of the objects in an image. So, sounds really interesting, so let's have a look. Yeah, Microsoft states here that they can handle all a variety of vision tasks, understanding task, segmentation task, key point detection, generative task, editing an image, and enhancement in an image. And also, just to mention, it outperforms prior methods on normal datasets. And Microsoft state it's a significant step toward some generalist modeling interface for vision talks, advancing artificial intelligence in the field of computer vision. It also says it is based here on the denoising diffusion probabilistic model. You remember my last video where we went through all of the different diffusion models. And they give you here a very impressive demonstration. So they say, hey, look, this is an image here of a fridge with a lot of stickers and magnets. And here's our model. And we just say, hey, remove all magnets and all stickers. And this is the result that we get. And look at the other models. So their model is the best. Amazing. Now, I just said, hey, Bart, by Google, explain the denoising diffusion probabilistic model to me in technical details, and then compare it, please, to the stable diffusion XL model. And here you have a short summary about the loss function, the sampling procedure, the number of layers, and the image quality, and the stability. Great. But you know what really caught my attention here in this research paper by Microsoft is here this very subtle notice that the instruction diffusion model by Microsoft exhibits the ability of AGI to a certain extent. So we have here some average general intelligent, which is okay. And then we have again here Demonstrate the model exhibit a degree of AGI by leveraging the wealth of task. Yeah, so instruction diffusion again with AGI. And then you're not going to believe it here in the conclusion here. We have here that instruction diffusion and average general intelligence. These are two labels. They want really that you get this on a subconscious level. And I think it's absolutely interesting how prominent here this AGI term is. And of course, they say that this model sets the stage for future advancement in the pursuit of artificial general intelligence in computer vision. So you might say, or you might think, given this research paper by Microsoft, this is an amazing new diffusion model by Microsoft. And, you know, I was excited and I thought, hey, yeah, look, I, I finally I will do some very nice YouTube thumbnail where I say, hey, Microsoft AGI, isn't this beautiful? And then I don't know why, but I had the, the idea, listen, let's try this model out to have here a performance on a platform Microsoft provide us here with a demonstration with an example to try here instruction diffusion out. So here we go. So here we are now here in the live demo and I say indicate the eyes with a yellow circle. Go! And as you can see we have here an official instruct diffusion by Microsoft. So the result is not really convincing. I see no Okay, so change the color of her eyes to brown and go. 
and we calculate it and instruction diffusion gives us this result okay not really what i expected okay okay uh, ne never mind this is just the beginning so let's go indicate the human skin we have a lot of cyborg mechatronic so what is the human skin make a segmentation of human skin okay um not really so change the female character to a male one and now we increase the guidance so i deviate from the default of microsoft and now let's say a male character wow uh, wow uh, this is <laughs> this is a beauty let, let me say this is a beauty so let's take another picture it's not working with this one so i say detection let's go with detection and you might say why because look here in the right hand corner detection this is exactly what i want and the result is nothing okay change the color from blue to orange now this is an easy task just take one color and substitute the color with a different color this should be perfect and here we have the result okay uh, not what i expected okay now I say, listen, identify all object in the image, a full segmentation. So this is my command. I deviate now from the original publication by Microsoft. Wow. Okay. Full segmentation is uh, interesting. So I say, draw a yellow dot on her right eye. So a single yellow dot on the right eye of the person in the image. And we have the complete compute power of yes, 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 yes. Yes, we have one. We have one successful. Now, draw a green dot on their left eye. After a minute of calculation, we get now the result. Error. Error. It was too complicated. This was a too complicated task. Okay. Now, mark the pixels of the female character to blue and leave the rest unchanged. After almost a minute of computing, wow this is impressive microsoft impressive so let's change this mark the pixel here of the female character to blue because now we have a pure cyborg we have a human part and a cyborg part now the, okay everything it's get a little bit yeah look at this this is nice image editing add glasses so i have a simple human person just add glasses this is a simple simple task add the glasses let's zoom in a little bit and here we go yes oh wow <laughs> okay i think after three minutes you get the idea so maybe we should say microsoft is definitely on the way to some average general intelligence maybe it has not arrived yet